So when we play the cello and we want our intonation to be really precise and in tune, as I say, in tune with our cello, with our instrument, there are four notes that are non-negotiable. I call them the four pillar notes, pillar, four big poles that we base our intonation on. One of them is C, then G, D, and A. Those are the four notes that are non-negotiable on the cello. They have what I call tickling points, like any human being. When you touch a certain point in a person, they tickle. When you touch a D a certain way, the D string will move like crazy. And the G and the A when you touch those notes. So if you start on a low note, let's say you play a D very with a lot of pleasure, because when you play a D, the D and the A string are very ticklish. So if you look closely, if you play it in tune, D and A are moving. So you can play D with the first finger, then D with the second finger, but they would ring. Then you go to the next one, which is G. So if I play the G and I let the G string ring, I have my fingers round like a binocular shape, The G string gives me automatic over, overtones. Then the G with second finger. And the third finger. And so on. And then the A. A becomes a little harder. So as you go up, it's harder to tickle the cello. A. A string is moving. Now if it's really in tune, all I need to do is to decorate it with a little vibrato but I'm moving the overtone. So if I start the Mendelssohn Trio, I have right away two big pillar notes to make overtones from the cello and the D. So as I go on with the overtones, I can play the A, you can use your eyes to see how it rings, Do, Still, you can move it. C. You tickle the C string around here. D. D string, and so on. The A. If you play the A in tune, the D string will be ticklish right around here. So you can learn how to tickle your cello in the right spots for each of those four notes. So if you play the Shlomo, that's the A now, when I play a B flat, it's not a pillar note. However, it's a neighbor note to a pillar note. So the A get the vibration. The B flat is a, a, a low neighbor. Again, pillar note. Now I have G, another pillar note. G moves, then I have an F sharp, which is a neighbor from the top. So it's a little higher. Then I go back to a pillar note. Rings, higher F sharp. So A, B flat low to the A, G pillar note, F sharp, higher, no pillar note, B flat, good to towards the A. Yeah, so whatever note you play has a relationship to one of the pillar notes in the piece. And if you look through the repertoire, you can always find those pillar notes in there. They're neighbors, but also those four notes that make the cello rings like crazy. A D. 
makes the cello ring so beautifully. So, to end this uh, little video, um, a little overtone walk, I call it. You start the day, you warm up, you go through all the four pillar notes. But you jump through the strings.